the price of XRP is skyrocketing. This recent update, as well as new market developments on this token, have sparked a significant investment force in XRP. Investors should keep a close eye on this one because any buying opportunity should not be overlooked. Will XRP reach $2 by the beginning of 2022? To learn more, make sure to watch this video all the way through. But first, at the end of the month, we'll give away 25 XRP coins to one lucky subscriber to help them continue their XRP journey. All you have to do is like the video and you are done. Subscribe and let us know what you think about XRP in the comment section. Greetings, XRP team. Let's help the channel grow by pressing the like and subscribe buttons. Ripple's verse in the crypto market. The SEC is always making headlines. Given the current situation, we believe the time for XRP to resume trading is not far off. The current pressure on the lawsuit is primarily on the SEC side, as it appears that other regulatory bodies have been crushing the SEC. In addition, we have seen the arrival of a new body, Empower Oversight. This is a significant organization that has chosen to target the SEC. In fact, following the SEC order to extend the fact, an expert discovery, the SEC extension expression of control towards the cryptocurrency market has grown significantly. In these circumstances, the idea that the SEC would claim supervision over the digital asset seems absurd. Empower Oversight, the government's watchdog, has stolen the show and turned it into a hot topic of debate. This organization is a nonpartisan, nonprofit educational organization whose goal is to improve the independence of government oversight of corporate wrongdoing. In a nutshell, this organization can be thought of as an extension of the government tasked with uncovering unusual corporeal activities that are illegal. As a result, it is understandable that the SEC is in jeopardy. With the addition of Empower Oversight, it will be difficult for the SEC to keep its internal affairs hidden, because this organization investigates everything. Hiding things may not be possible. Empower Oversight has filed a request under the Freedom of Information Act for the Securities and Exchange Commission's internal documents and communications. The information was released under the title Empower Oversight Seeks Information on Conflict of Interest in Cryptocurrency at SEC, according to the organization's update blog. Well, the SEC has hinted at a hypocritical side of the matter on the issue of conflict of interest time and time again. On the one hand, the regulatory body claims that XRP is a security, but the activities of former SEC officials suggest otherwise. During the tumultuous lawsuit against Ripple and its individual defendants, the FOIA request seeks to obtain communications between SEC officials and their current and former employers, the person to be suspended. According to the official statement, is William Hinman, the former director of the SEC Corporate Finance Division. According to reports, William Hinman was seen actively participating in the SEC regulation of cryptocurrencies from May 2017 to December 2020. In addition, he was receiving millions of dollars from his former employer, Simpson Thasher, a law firm with a long history of dealings with Hinman. Simpson Thasher is a member of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, a group dedicated to promoting the use of the Ethereum cryptocurrency. William Hinman is a key figure in this situation. Ripple had previously requested Hinman's deposition due to his 2018 speech on cryptocurrency. He stated explicitly in his speech that Bitcoin and Ethereum are not securities. As a result of this statement, both tokens, particularly Ethereum, have seen significant gains. Hinman's departure from the firm was another intriguing move. The former SEC official left the firm in December 2020 and returned as a partner to Simpson Thasher, only for the SEC to sue Ripple, one of Ethereum's competitors, claiming its security. This isn't the only time the SEC has shown a perfect expression of coincidence. The incident involving Mark Berger was all too similar. Empower Oversight is also looking into possible concerns about former SEC Chairman Jay Clayton. This man was the former chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission in the United States, and his actions were also alleged to be conflicted of interest. Jay Clayton also stated that Bitcoin was not a security, which is why he is being questioned more about his handling of cryptocurrency issues. When Empower Oversight reveals that Mr. Clayton's career at the SEC ended with the SEC case against Ripple, the part becomes even more suspicious. Mr. Clayton joined One River Asset Management, a cryptocurrency hedge fund focused solely on Bitcoin and Ethereum, after leaving the SEC. The nonprofit organization is also requesting that anyone with first hand knowledge of the situation come forwards with it. The organization aided Senator Grassley in the creation of the Bipartisan Whistleblower Protection Caucus and the Inspector General Empowerment Act. 
2016, as well as the FBI Whistleblower Protection Enhancement Act, 2016, under the leadership of founder and president Jason Foster. Dean Zerb, who has successfully represented whistleblowers who have received nearly $600 million in awards, and Gary Aguara, who overcame retaliation after refusing to grant a Wall Street banker special treatment due to the banker's political influence after refusing his SEC superior's demands. The SEC reached a $28 million settlement with the bank and its CEO, Pequot, in May 2010. The SEC is under a lot of pressure to make the right decisions when it comes to digital asset enforcement. The SEC vs. Ripple case appears to be the final straw, as the industry has banded together to fight regulation by enforcement. SEC personnel have been susceptible to conflict of interest since its inception, according to John Deaton, XRP holder's attorney for the SEC against Ripple, who submitted an intervention request. At the start of January 2021, he shared his personal profit theory. Prior to William Hinman's deposition, Mr. Deaton recommended a line of inquiry to put pressure on the former SEC officer over allegations of conflict of interest. After Ripple's counsel claimed that the SEC has easier access to certain debt on the deposition, many questions arose about Hinman's deposition. In any case, Mr. Hinman's own views on XRP status are questionable because as Ripple's counsel wrote, not all of the factors that out and how we must be met in order for a contract to be an investment contract. The SEC-owned public communications as late as October 2020 refute the Hyman testimony, claiming that the SEC is yet to make a decision on XRP status. According to Ripple's defense counsel, Hyman stated during his last deposition that the application of federal securities laws to digital assets was novel to everyone before he joined the SEC in 2017, but years after Ripple's allegedly unregistered securities were offered. The fight between the SEC and Ripple has gone even crazier since the U.S. Congress was added to the mix. Representative Don Bayer proposed the Digital Asset Market Structure and Investor Protection Act, which would protect all investors and market participants while also encouraging innovation through the use of digital assets. If this legislation passes, attorney Thieu Vu Hogan believes that XRP will not be subject to SEC regulation. Instead, the bill proposes that the Commodities Future Trading Commission be given authority to oversee the digital space. Now it's up to Parliament and the courts to decide whether XRP is a security or a digital asset. As a result, it is clear that the SEC is under duress. Even now, Gary Gensler, the current chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission, believes that every initial coin offering is an unregistered security. As a result, cryptocurrency will be governed by the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. Well, it would be fascinating to see the court demolish the SEC fantasies. Now it's time to take a look at the XRP price chart. XRP is currently trading at $1.18, down 4.87% in the last 24 hours. Even though it is down 4%, the token price is at its highest in three months, indicating a surge in investment inflows. We have some information from a Twitter user who goes by the handle Credible Crypto. He believes that if XRP breaks through its all-time high of $3.40, the next target will be $10. The target at the end of the current bull run is $20 to $30. Additionally, a breakout past $3.40 will result in an increase in buying pressure. If you want to learn more about XRP, there are two more videos on the final screen that you can watch. Please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Please keep in mind that cryptocurrency prices fluctuate frequently, so by the time you watch this video, it may have changed to a completely different value. You should not treat any of the content in this video as investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other type of advice. The information in this video is provided solely for educational purposes and should not be construed as financial advice. Before making any investment decisions, do your own due diligence and consult with your financial advisor.